Bristol, Tennessee. Thunder Valley ignites. Ah! A day of ugly rumors. They want to phone it in? They want to believe a stupid rumor on the internet? And endless oil downs. That's a quarter mile down. Results in the greatest side-by-side -side racing in Pink's history. There's no words to describe it. I don't know, I'm numb. There's nothing I've ever felt. Pink's all out. Guys, we're at Thunder Valley in Bristol, Tennessee, and Nate, I can't even tell you, pride, pride, pride from the top down. This is one of the most outstanding facilities we've ever been part of. It's unbelievable. What's the car count today? Uh, 330. 330 cars, so that's gonna be perfect. Just seeing if we can get the best competition possible. The track's in perfect condition. Huge rainstorm yesterday. That storm blew through, so now we got maybe the nicest day of the year so far. No humidity, about 80 degrees, so it's gonna be perfect. Do you guys have any questions? I think we're all set. All right, let's get the first round started, all right? Let's go. Let him roll. Time to be again. Show on the road. No BS today. You got there, right? Hey, Tron, did you see that one pass? That guy ran 11 0 in that monster car that he had? Yeah, we saw it. We got an eye on it. If you see a pattern, I want you to feel it, okay, brother? No problem. There's this big internet rumor going around that this is a, you know, we have the 16 picked out already and it's an 11 second competition. I heard him drop at the bottom. We throw those guys out today. When are these guys gonna learn, dude? I don't, I don't get it. Hey, man, I'm saying you see someone clearly no sandbagging, problem. you no throw problem. them out. You throw them out. This is done. I've had enough of this crap. All they gotta do is not sandbag. That's all they gotta do. Yeah, that car went through the traps at 81 miles an hour, by the way, the one you're talking about, Rich. Adam, you see anybody, I mean anybody, that one guy sandbag. That's not what that car had. If it doesn't compute what they're driving and what they're running, and you know it, they're out of the competition. You can start eliminating dozens of cars, but they're gonna follow that stupid rumor. For some reason, people think that we're gonna pick an 11 0 class. It, there's a lot of fast cars out here that have dialed their car into 11 0. A lot of these guys are trying to dial in for an 11 0. Went 11 1 at 130 with a 195 60 foot. So we can make an announcement. If anybody wants to run 11 0s out here, they want to listen to any other bull crap they've heard online or whoever's telling them what, we just ask if they all want us to go home today. We'll leave if anybody wants to keep running 11 0s. We're going to end up with a bunch of the cars running 11 0s. They're all. Jacking it. I think we ought to just start booting them. We're gonna stop this competition after this car. Have Nate come down here right now. Hey, we're gonna stop it after this. Why don't you guys come down here onto the track? We're gonna hold it up for a minute. I'm on the way. This is exactly what a bunch of people have said a certain person has been telling everybody in Bristol. 11 0 is what we're picking. I've already talked to Rich. I'm buddy buddy with Rich. They're picking 11 0. You want the announcement? I think it's got to right. stop, yeah. Dude, that Monte Carlo was an eight-second car. I've seen too many. I mean, it's bull that they're doing it, but we're going to, you know, we want them all to race here. Run your damn cars. OK, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rich Christensen. I'm the host of Pink's All Out. Thanks for coming out. Hey, folks, we have a huge problem here because a rumor got spread on the internet that the 16 have already been picked, that this is an 11-0 competition, and we're watching way fast cars slowing it down. Let me ask you something. Do you want to see these cars dogging it, or do you want to run all out? I will shut this thing down and go home before I watch cars that can run nine seconds run 11 or 12 seconds. I'm done. So racers, this is your warning. You want to phone it in? You want to believe a stupid rumor on the internet? Then go home now. If you want to run your car, get your car out here and please run it all out. Please. God. Any sandbagging, you're going home.
And that's it. I'm done. I've had enough. No dialed in times. Run all out. Everything you got. If you're trying to pick a number, I'm sending you home. Everything you got, brother. Everything you got, okay? Everything this car has, or you're going home after one pass. Guys are picking a number. Go all out, brother. I gotta send you home. Guys are picking a number. The cars are going too slow. I'm sending them home. So I went through the pits personally. And I talked to probably 100 racers, and I said to them, if you, if you have a car that's obviously faster than you're running, we're sending him home. I do not want those people to have a second chance. I agree. They're not honoring the spirit of this competition, which is all out. It's not asking that much. They're dialing in numbers. You guys Good can call. actually slice Good and dice call. everybody. If their numbers don't match, don't even give them a pass. It's just ignorant. It's obvious. Anybody that, that, you know, we've spotted every car that's sandbagging out here. This is not a bracket race. Number one, this whole internet thing, all right? That started me, got me salty right away. Number two is the fact that we looked like we didn't know how to do our jobs, all right? And that's unacceptable. Everything you're talking about is out of our control. I, yeah, that's, 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 that's why I don't feel that way. I, I, I get that. Well, let me tell you something. So once and for all, I'm done fighting it. Believe every internet rumor there is. Believe everything, because they're 100% right. These guys all have direct contact to me. I tell them who the 16 are going to be. So here's what we do. We do a show called All Out, where I ask you to do one thing, run your car all out. From now on, if we see a car that we know is faster, and it tanks it, and the ET and the mile per hour don't match up, you're chucking them after one round. We're doing exactly what we said that we would do. Exactly. We're doing our job and someone on the internet's effing it up. Let him roll! He's still in it. did not live. He's got the cojones the size of Texas. Holes. <laughs> <laughs>
they got the message. Yeah, definitely. 970s and 980s is slowly coming around, Nate. Yeah, exactly. I came out here today because my husband watches it all the time, and today is his birthday, and I surprised him with tickets. Come here from work yesterday, and they were laying on the bed. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wham! <laughs> Send them down through there. Give me that paycheck. You want to race when you get old enough to? If I have enough money, get me a nice car. I'm late for work almost every morning because I have to watch Pinks first. <laughs> I love Pinks. When you're in East Tennessee, or we like to call it God's country, there's four things to remember. Always root for the University of Tennessee Volunteers. Share your good corn liquor with your friends and family. Always admire the pretty girls. And when you're at Bristol, baby, it's peaks all out. Whenever you're ready for the arm drops, we got the second round. Uh, the guys are loaded, so whenever you're ready, bud. There you go, buddy. Oh, man. Man. The 10-1 class is one-tenth part perfect. What's going on? Just call out all the equipment if it's down. Call everything double time and see if we can get it cleaned up. Transmission fluid, Rich. Transmission fluid, Gavin. Hey, Kale, what's going on down there? We got tranny fluid on the track, I think. It starts here. Right here. Hopefully not synthetic. That's a quarter mile down. doesn't help us at all. Let him roll! What do you think about giving away 10 grand, huh? Oh, man. Give it to me. <laughs> I wish I had that money. Yeah. <laughs> I don't buy to go shopping with that money. Buy a lot of shoes and purses. <laughs> It's cute clothes. <laughs> Winner of this thing gets $10,000. Wow, it's not going to be me, man. <laughs> hey, is this thing running? I believe it is. Huh? It sounds like it. The guy over here sounds like, sound like a sewing machine running. Sewing machine? Yeah. I know what it's going to sound like on top of the track. There you go. Wait and hear it. There you go. All right, cool, man. It's awfully quiet. It is. It's Can bad. this quiet, it's quiet thing run. make some power? No, it makes the power. <laughs> Sixties are money, dude. Yeah. There's a Mopar, your Pinto, yeah. your Pinto wagon. Awesome. Damn it! Head on. You gonna get on the four wheeler? Go down there. Yeah. Stand like I've been seeing, brother. Oh man, that's awesome. That'll make the show. <laughs> Jeez. Did you try to get him straight, or did he just ignore you? Straight. It's on the bumper. It bit real hard on me, and it just, it just jumped at the wall. Woo! I thought you'd bring her back. I thought it was coming back. Thought he had it. That's gonna cost a dollar. Yeah. He could have came back. It would come back. It would come back. It may have got the overflow bottle, but that's all I got. Yeah. Instead of getting 10 grand, I'm gonna spend 10, right? As long as you're okay. Woo. That was a cool crash. Wasn't it? Yeah. You wanna see more of that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
God. Look at the starting line. What's that? Yeah, it's radiator fluid. Not just water. Yeah, it'll be a minute, though. He's all the way down. He should have got out of the grid. But... Why didn't he get out of that thing? You grab his, grab his track, start dragging. Damn. Come on, dude. The reason I stopped is both cars have matching paint jobs. This is your car, John. That's it. Mike? Yes, sir. Got your car here? Absolutely. So here's, it looks like y'all probably been drag racing together since y'all were little. Is that true? Since he was little. Since he was little. The reason we started drag racing is to make sure that he wasn't on the street racing. Oh, beautiful. That's the main thing in my heart. People say pretty girls never watch pinks. <laughs> Some of us do. The people are great, man. And it, it's awesome. And I hope y'all come back to Bristol more often. Pinks all out. He's right. It's right there. In here. It's not over here. That's uh, that's our problem. That's why they're they're turning. The boss can see what he has to say. Now we just spray through here one more time, and I mean it's getting better on the top, but still it's it's a problem. Check this grease spot, Jack. If you say we can go, we go. It'll go out over the eight mile. Guys, listen. Here's what we can do. We can just run everybody down the right lane, the last 60 cars. Well, that means we just get 60 cars down, and then during a two-hour break, you can go ahead and fix this lane. This car was one of the fastest cars we had down the track today. We ran an 818 first pass. You can have all the best laid plans in the world, but when it comes down to it, what can you do? It's the car thing. And it was just every single demon hit us out there. Now, who's racing? It's a 1060 class. Or is it 960? No, it's 1060. 1060, OK, why? It's the best racing and best cars. OK, Nate, you name them. Say a little bit about them. Larry Barr, we're just this fatty. Just can't believe it. Josh Steele, Larry Price. Dream come true right here. Randy Vick, Travis Hahn. I'm on a high right now like nothing I've ever felt. Mark Bernatsky, Bob Stable. I don't know, I'm numb. Yeah. Delmas Rose. Charles Overfelt. That's the best thing ever happened to me. Randy Roberts, Mike Baker. Don't I get money back in South Carolina? Jesse Rudy. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's awesome. Steve Isbell, Mike Stiles. I thought I was going to fall out up there. I couldn't believe it. Harry Green. Rich Miller. There's no words to describe it. Those are your cars. All out, 16. Let him go! All right, first of all, listen, I want to congratulate all you on making the All Out 16. I'm going to ask you this one time. Did you race your cars all out today? OK, I see by the looks of your faces, you guys, you did all just smash it down to the floor. That's what this is all about. You run hard. now. You're going to race. We're going to line you up. When you hear your name, you get to your car. You get in. Make your pass. Boom. Loser's going home. Winner's coming back around. You both come down the return lane. Get to that return lane and get back down here. The crowd's going to clap for you. If you win $1,000, you can start betting that money. If it's $500 or less, don't even bring it up. Just say, I want to race for position. Whoever throws down $1,000, the crowd's going to go nuts. Did any of you expect when you woke up this morning to be standing here tonight? <clears throat> This is a gift, so let's put on a great show. Don't jump. You jump this time, you're going home. If you run too fast, you're going home. So I'm hoping that you're laying it down today because if Nate sniffs anything, it's not going to be pretty, OK? So now I need you to be the best example of Virginia, of Tennessee, of hustle, of charisma, of character. This is going to be the experience you're going to remember the rest of your lives. Pink's All Out 16. Congratulations, boys. Listen for your name, and let's race. All right, boys? Let's get it on. Everybody loves the wind. Everything feels good? All right, I'll see you in the eight.
Good job, buddy. Car was loose, it's fun. Hey, we've never spun here before. This is great. This is just great. We had a good time. Yeah. Can't complain a bit. A thousand bucks. That's what it's about. Yeah. How's that feel? It's most of everyone. It's great. The underdog match. Here we go. suspension car, right? The guy's pretty much in the chassis car. I'm a leaf spring stock suspension. Oh, great. Brew crew money. <laughs> this is going to be a memory of a lifetime. This thing has had a man a long time. It really is. Being 62 years old, we're tired of school teacher. We've been it all out. That's all we come here for. We had fun. Enjoy your thing you got here. It's great. How about that? Never thought this would happen. The old gray ghost, we just unbelievably tuned on that thing. No good. Nope. Down. Oh, it's a thumbs down. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Sorry, dude. You dumped four mile an hour on the big end, yet you picked up eight hundreds. It's too much. I've never made but five passes, has it? Yeah, it could, it could be a it consistency could be, issue. It could be a consistency thing. I said I picked up like eight tenths or something. Uh, you know, I don't know, man. I, I've run it. Well, I run three passes yesterday and run two today. How's that feel? Good. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> We've loved it. I love it. Makes show, an man. awesome show. Makes an awesome show. It's about drag racing, man. Street racing. I love it. <laughs> Good job, Jesse. We did it. How'd that feel, man? Good. How's the track been working OK for you? Perfect. Just didn't get it warm enough. Believe that. It's been hot all week. Just didn't get warm enough. Feels good. It's worth a trip. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anything bad on TV, either. <laughs> Josh and Charles, I want to congratulate you on making the All Out 8. You're both $1,000 richer. Now, Charles, tell me about your car. Well, the car's a 1948 Austin Coupe, big block Chevrolet, TCI transmission. 
I used to be a high school teacher, and now I retired. This is the car that they built down to the school for another guy. The students got to actually drive the car, so we got to take it to the drag strip. There's two seats in it. I sat in the passenger side, they sat in the driver's side. We go up a drag strip, so it's a good little old car. Well, you guys having a good time tonight? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, Josh, tell me, your car, where you're from? Waynesville, North Carolina, 74 and over, me and my brother Bill. Hey, man, how you doing? Good to see you, brother. Now it's about some money. I don't want to force anything, but I'd love to see you put some skin in the game, so the crowd. So at this time, my wife gave me ten dollars. Oh, that's all she She's gave you. Cheap. All right, so you don't want to bet. Sorry. You don't want to bet for anything. Five hundred. Five hundred bucks. Josh, you want to match that? Duh. All right. All right, boys. Okay, get in your cars. Let's line them up and let's race. <laughs> Treat the hell out of them. Don't get any better than that. That's probably the length of Rich Christensen's patient. <laughs> Six one thousandths of a second. Charles, great job. The closest race in the history of pinks. Six one thousandths of a second. There you go. Good job, buddy. Great job. Six one thousandths. Six one thousandths. Yeah. It was heads up race. Yeah. That's all you can say. He was coming on me hard. That boy drive. Good race, good clean race. What else can you ask for? It's a neat deal. It's the neatest deal that's happened to the little guy in a long time. Steve, how are you? Randy, I want to congratulate you on making the all-out eight. Why don't you tell me about your car? The car is a 78 Monza with a 406 two-speed power glide. This is all my family. A bunch of pride and happiness to have your family with you on a night like yes, this? Yes, sir. I'm missing somebody. My Uncle Paul died Monday morning, and it's been a hustle all week wow. trying to get down here. And we made it, but we're here, and we love it, man. It's, it's all coming true. Yeah. All right, well, good, man. That's great. Now, Randy, why don't you tell me about your car? 72 Chevrolet Vega, a small block, 356 in it. I got Gary, John. All your buddies. All my buddies. Yeah, man, nothing better than me with your buddies, right? Yeah. Well, listen, boys, this is about the money at this point. Steven, what do you think? All of it. Got $1,000? Oh, yeah. Kevin, it's all in on our own. All right. Get your cars, drive safe, and let's race! I go back home then. Right. Except the joy of being on a TV show and had a good time. Good, good enough. Had a ball. 
I want to congratulate you guys for making it an all-out eight, okay? Tell me about your car and who you're with here tonight. Well, it's 6'6 six, six Chevelle, small block. Okay. And uh, this is my friend and my sponsor. All right. Rich, how are you? Hey, it's Gary. Hey, Gary. About it. That's it, just having a great time, right? Oh, man, I'm having a blast. All right, Bob, congratulations for making it tonight. Tell me about your car and what you got going on. 68 Barracuda with small block. Yeah, nice. Four years. Yeah, four years. I hadn't raced in 20 years, and I got it four years ago. Started racing again. Feel good to be racing again? Oh, yeah, I love it. Four years ago, you think you be racing here tonight? Nope. All right, Bob, what are you thinking about as far as skin in the game, or do you want to not? Go five. Five? That's good. Okay, Gavin, we have a $500 bet. Skin in the game. I want you to race safe, race smart, get in your cars, and let's race, boys. Here we go. Purple versus purple. Hold on, you're all right. Jesse, why don't you tell me about who you're here with tonight? Tell me about your vehicle, because people love this truck here tonight. Okay, this is my dad, Tony. Hey, buddy, how are you? See ya. We built it together. I drove it to high school. Is that right? Yeah, I was. How long have you had that vehicle? Uh, 12 years. 12 so you know years. the vehicle very well. Yeah. yeah. It's doing great. And Mike, why don't you tell me who you have with you and what's going on tonight? Well, this is my son, John, my hey, John. daughter, Megan. I know, they're pretty excited when you won, yeah. 1967 Chevy. We all built it from the ground up, the wow. whole family. So kind of the same kind of a thing here, yeah. It's, it's the whole family. I mean, even my grandchildren. Oh, They're that's all awesome. Well, you guys have beautiful cars. You're representing this class very well tonight. You guys want to put some skin in the game on this one, or what are you thinking? We'll put five. 500? 500? 1,000. You want 1,000? Will you match the 1,000? We'll go five. Five is good. You accept the five? Okay. I'm a squirrel with a nut. All right, guys. Race safe. Let's get in your cars, and let's have a good show, OK? Let's race. Be safe, okay. guys. Good luck. Good luck, man. Oh, oh, yeah. One of these underdogs is going to go to the final four. Yeah. Good job. Congratulations. I'll see you in the all-out four. Get your car ready. Great job. Got him by a whole shot. I like whole shots. I seen him leave, and I knew it was over right then. The distance he had me to start line was the distance he beat me by. So I lost it on the line. Steven, Mike, Mike, congratulations. Great pass last time. And, and Steven, awesome job. It, this is very close. It should be a really good race. You guys know the rules. You know what's going on. Would you like to put some skin in the game on this one? His choice. What's that? A thousand bucks. Is this a thousand? All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Let's race. Got him. 
to me, baby. This is our underdog. I can't believe that dude is still in. this far um, Bob Charles I want to congratulate you guys for making it this far you know the winner here goes on to the finals you guys know the rules so at this time I'd like to see how much skin you want to put in the game what would you like to do on this one go seven seven hundred five okay go five that's that five hundred yeah we'll go five okay let's go five that's good I'll take your five, We're gonna go five. drive safe get in your cars and let's race go to Disneyland, it's great. There's no problems here. Can't believe it. That guy actually left ahead of me, but I caught him. I ran him down. Let him go! First of all, I want to congratulate you guys on making the all-out finals. We started with over 350 cars, and you ended up here in this slot. Also, I don't like betting the last round anymore. It feels right that you should keep something if you come in second place, which I know neither of you want to do. So this is for the $10,000. So guys, first of all, from all of us, congratulations on making it this far. All right? Good. So this is an interesting part of the competition because it's a hot lap competition, meaning you cannot shut off your car. You cannot get out of your car. You have to win two out of three. This is a two out of three competition for the $10,000. You guys have raced just beautifully today, and you've run your cars all out, and that's what we want to thank you for. Seriously, that means everything to us. Two out of three, hot laps. If you need gas, put it in now. You're going to make the pass, come back in the return lane, get right back into your water box, and take off and go again. Now, one more time about your uncle. Uh, uncle Bobby, he had 54 years old. He had lung cancer. He's a big part of our race team. Um, couldn't do nothing without so him. So it's been a tough week for you. Yeah. And yeah. would you say that this race is dedicated to your uncle? Yes, sir. That's awesome. OK. And Bob, how does it feel for you to be in the finals here tonight? Well, terrific. A week ago, I never thought I was going to be here. And four years ago, you just started racing That's again. That's it. Well, guys, I want to say again congratulations. Thank you for taking part in Panks. Now it's time to get down to it. The person who wins two races first takes home $10,000. Please shake hands, boys, and let's race. Let's go. Run. 
on this sucker, don't worry about nothing, man. Get her done, man. that you were outperformed by Bob. Would you agree that on the second pass, you were outperformed by Bob? Okay, at this time, Bob, it's my great pleasure to announce that you are, in Bristol, the Pink's All Out Champion. Congratulations, guys. Good job, buddy. Good job. That's awesome. Steven, can you tell me what happened on those two passes? So at this time, it's my great pleasure to have Bob Ecker step up here. Bob? Today was a hard day for everybody. You did yourselves proud, you did the show proud, the right guys made it here. And on that note, I'm extremely happy and proud to present you $10,000. Congratulations. So listen, Bristol treated us well. We had a rough day, as Bob said. All the fans stuck around, tremendous fans in this area, amazing facility. So on behalf of myself and my amazing team, I want to thank all of you, and thank you all for being part of Pink's All Out. Thank you. I need a beer. We're part of the brew crew. Says it right on the back window of the car. I need a beer. <laughs>